Hey, what's up guys? I'm Skip and you're watching High Volt Gaming. On today's episode, we're playing some Beam and G Drive and have something really cool and kind of silly to show you guys. It's the uh, Submarine D Series mod, which basically adds a, a raisable snorkel to your, uh, to your config here, to your config files, to your parts menu. You're able to add it in. So that's what, what we're going to do. We, as you can see, we pulled up our vehicle customization, configuration menu, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and uh, scroll down to the body and you'll see right here, snorkel. We click on this raisable snorkel. Now this is kind of weird because I thought they actually added a stock game snorkel, and you would think that would be right here as well, but it's not. I don't know if maybe this snorkel replaced that one, and that's kind of uh, how the mod works. Not really sure, but we're just going to be testing this thing out today. So let's go ahead and back the camera up a little bit because uh, it's actually quite high and it's kind of funny the first time you see it. So let's go ahead up here. You can see it says hit you. So let's do that. Whoop! It just raises itself right up, just kind of stretches out. It doesn't really raise up, just the, the uh, snorkel itself just sort of distorts and goes up probably like, gosh, what is that, 20 feet up in the air? So uh, we are over here on the grid map just to start off this uh, to start off this uh, video and then we're going to actually switch it up to a better one where we can actually do some legitimate submarine testing right but before we do that I figured it would be a good thing to actually test it over here on the grid map because we can do things like this and go right through that pillar so it actually can't damage it because that was one thing I was wondering I was like what in the world is this thing going to look like when you do damage it it already looks so wacky um, but it doesn't do anything, it just sort of ghosts right through there, so that is good. You don't have to actually worry about it hitting the trees and stuff if you are trying to, you know, use it to do some real deep water off-roading or, or submarine sort of action, right? But uh, let's go ahead and test it out here on this uh, grid map water section. As you can see, it gets a little bit deeper each time. I think we've been taking water there, but we would definitely be taking water at this point. Let's go ahead and stop it. Let's go ahead and drop it back down. Um, but still up out of the water so let's go to the uh, next little spot here and then we'll see it uh, we'll drop it down and see it actually take in water and then raise it back up so let's drop it down engines taking water yep engine flooding right there raise it back up and we're good to go so really really cool mod it works so uh, you know works well you know kind of a easy way to do it I guess just sort of stretching out the graphics on that or whatever you know I'm not a modder by any way means uh, you know so uh, not trying to downgrade it by any means like that like I said but uh, just uh, really cool to see something like this you know something silly that you can sort of play around with so I'm gonna go ahead and load up a little bit better map for us here and we'll try out the submarine action all right, so we got loaded back in over here on the uh, Seaside Roads map, I do believe. Whoa, come on, we need realistic shifting mode, please. There we go. All right, I am using my Logitech G920 today, of course, on some Beam and G drive. Absolutely love it. But uh, let's go ahead and try out the submarine mode. And I was just going to say real quick, uh, check out this map. The Seaside Roads map is really, really nice. Uh, very detailed map lots of stuff to do and see over here so definitely one worth checking out I uh, will probably be doing a mod review video or uh, you know showing this uh, map off here in the future but that's not what we want to see today we want to see <laughs> this dubs uh, dub style dub style beast or the dub beast whatever you want to call this thing go into submarine mode now let's see what we can do here now let's go ahead and go into the cab this should be pretty cool go ahead and uh, we got the water coming into the truck already I don't know what this uh, ocean does, if there's a drop off or anything. It looks like a nice gradual sort of slope so far, so that's going to work out good for us. Really cool. You can see the waves uh, crash around us. Now we're underwater. <laughs> that is so cool. I really like that you can actually see the waves, uh, you know, going over the water here. It looks really nice. That's not uh, something that I really noticed before. I'm not sure if that's a beam and G drive thing uh, you know, on all their stock maps or if that's something to this map. You know, it looks really cool. Definitely gives it a good look. Definitely a realistic look, you know. But, uh, you know, not something I ever noticed while not driving underwater. <laughs> and so let's go ahead and keep on going here. Our truck is just uh, pulling along, no problem. Let's go ahead and jump back outside. Let's see how deep our, our thing actually is. Or it looks like we're getting pretty close to going underwater here. Let's go ahead and to point it back up towards shore because that definitely doesn't look like it's getting any more shallow. This thing is just doing it right on. All right, let's go ahead and punch the gas here. Let's see what this thing will do underwater. Let's go ahead and drop it into low range. Lock in our diffs. 
<laughs> we got up to 26 miles an hour underwater. So the dub, dub style, dub series beast. The dub beast. I don't know what the heck to call this thing. I'm supposed to do a build video on it. And I know a couple of you have asked. I'm definitely going to still be doing a build video on this thing. Uh, but just a pretty cool little truck that I've just been uh, basically having as my default vehicle messing around with. Uh, but anyway, really, really cool to see this, uh, you know, submarine, raisable, uh, snorkel mod, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, the modder did call it a submarine D-series, although I didn't see, like, a proper variant for it that you could just pick out of the uh, parts menu. I guess we could go ahead and look at that real quick, but I don't believe there was one in there. Not in the parts menu, but the vehicle selector menu here. All right, so that's the second time for me scrolling through there again, and uh, I don't see it as a as an option here, like I said. So you have to go into your vehicle config menu, you know, throw it on there for yourself. It's definitely cool, definitely one to check out, download, get into your game, at least have a little bit of fun with it for a little bit, right? So uh, definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any good challenge ideas for upcoming episodes with this mod or any other one. Let me know if you want to see the Seaside uh, Roads map in action because that's the one's definitely coming out for you here soon you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching i'm skip and i'll see you in the next one peace